Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> oh yeah, it's cutting time. See, the thing is, is that, <clears throat> see, the thing is, is that we decided to put uh, 31s on a minivan. I mean, look at this fitment. I can fit like one finger around the entire finger wheel. However, I kind of want clearance more than I want fitment. So we got to cut and we got to cut a lot because although it goes straight right now, we have to be able to turn. And with this high of offset, it's going to have a lot of scrubbing. Therefore, we're going to need to cut a lot. I'm guessing like three or four inches around the fender and then we might Actually, no, we'll definitely have to cut into the door as well. Yeah, this will be interesting. Quick thanks to carmarshall.com for sponsoring this video. Carmarshall.com can help you guys save thousands of dollars on thousands of new or used vehicles online. Go check them out. I'll have a link in the description if you are looking to buy yourself a car or a truck or a bike or a scooter or a minivan. I also want to say thank you guys so much for your support. It seems like after yesterday's video, uh, a lot of you guys said that you don't like the apocalypse thing. You like the fact that we're lifting a minivan, but you don't like that we're building it to be used in the apocalypse. So we're gonna have a vote. Do you guys want it to continue to be an apocalypse van where we purposely like make it rusty, but we still build it really awesome, really strong, and make it pretty much battle ready? Or do you want us to do like a clean off-roading build where it's the same thing, it's gonna be strong, it's gonna be badass, it's gonna be battle ready with like armor on it, but it's all gonna be painted, it's gonna look nice, and we're gonna to try to make it look a little bit a little bit cleaner. Right right up there, or right there. Just, just go vote. Also, fun fact, we are renaming this um, from the battle van to the off-road van because, well, see, YouTube doesn't like the word battle, so the last two videos on this van have gotten demonetized. They got remonetized eventually, but uh, the word battle, it's, it's a scary word. It's a bad word. Anyway, let's go ahead and get straight to uh, cutting. See, it looks so much cooler like this. We just get it to ride like this. Let's just weld all the springs together. Actually, you know what? Let's just weld the strut together so that the piston on the shock doesn't move. So, boom, we're always at this ride height. Oh, Before I go about anything, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that fender liner so I kinda can tell what's going on. Cause I wanna cut this fender all the way up to the inner wheel well. And I need to get rid of this fender liner so I can see what that is. One thing I learned from the Rally Miata is that you always are gonna need to cut more. You can never cut too much. Ooh, ooh, baby! The frame rail of this car sits about two and a half inches higher than this fender. So we're gonna cut two and a half inches off the fender. See, the only problem is that all this, this is not the fender, it's the actual body of the car, so, I mean, we're still gonna cut into it, it's just a little sketchier doing that. So I'm pretty much just gonna cut that section of the body out. In terms of vertical clearance, I'm sure this is gonna be enough, but it definitely is still not gonna be able to turn. I wonder what this black box is. It might be important. Looks like it's like a little cold air source for the intake. 
Or it's like some sort of resonance chamber? Yeah. That's so weird. Like, what's the point of it? It's just like literally a box that goes to the intake. But like, there's no holes in the box. So there's no point. Besides the bent fender, which I now need to make a new mount for because I cut the mount off. Uh, this is it. This is, this is what we got going. The door is actually part of the wheel well now. The wheel well used to cover this. We cut the wheel well out right there. Now it's just the door. Um, this is as much as we could cut without compromising anything. If I cut more of the door, then it would make a hole in the door and we'd ruin the weather seal, which would be bad. But we might have to. I think it will clear when it's up in the air. I don't know about it being on the ground. That is full lock. Oh! Okay. Where's the hammer? So it can reach full lock in both directions when it's in the air, which I know that's it's pointless. That's gonna be good enough for now. We can't really tell if it'll rub until we drive it around, and we can't drive it around right currently. So for now, this will do. Now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and tack weld those three panels of the wheel well together. And then I'm going to uh, undercoat this entire thing. The reason why we're undercoating it is that, so when it does rub, it'll rub the undercoat off and we'll see where it rubs and where we need a clearance for. Uh, Adam LZ actually gave me that idea, so thanks Adam. I also made a very half ass mount for the fender so it doesn't wiggle and so now the door opens properly. That looks quite nice. You could even say that from right here, it's rust free. Oh shit, damn it. I am starting to regret doing that now that I have a nice good looking wheel well. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this exact process on the other side and then we can move on to the back. Cause like the wheel well now looks really awesome and then you just got this rusty piece of crap. That kind of defines the entire car though, rusty piece of crap. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the back. We really don't need to do much back here because the wheel already fits, but I'm gonna go ahead and match this front area and just kind of cut off this little rolled fender. That way the side profile will match the front fenders and uh, a little bit more clearance. We will be painting this black. I think I'm gonna like bedline those side stripes and we will be covering up that thing with a bumper. Like an off-road bumper that we make out of scrap metal. I don't dig the black on black on white on black on gray. 
it sticks out a little bit too much. So we'll paint that black and it'll look good. First rear is done. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And I'm not gonna show you because it was simple. I'm pretty sure the front suspension will compress a little bit more, but it does look quite nice. Yeah, that's a bit scary. Let's go ahead and test that. I can always guarantee it's not going to hit full lock. The question is, how far will it go? Mission failed. We'll get them next time. That's all we got. That really isn't much. <laughs> oh no! I guess we knew this was gonna happen, and you know it does turn technically. That is turning, but no way. That's that's not gonna be enough. If we're on any tight trail, we'd have to make like a 20-point turn. That's it's not gonna do it. I think that should be enough space in between the fuel filler neck and the tire. I think we're good back there. That's good. That that makes me happy. Damn! It sucks that we didn't cut enough, but. I'm sure we have enough vertical clearance. I'm sure it'll hit the bump stops before it hits the fender. What we're gonna have to do is cut a chunk out of the door and the wheel well, and then remake it. You know what I kind of figured out that this thing looks like? It looks like a bug. That's what it is. It's a bug. It kind of looks like, like a beetle. I don't know, it's got like a wide stance, it's got those eyes, and it's got this flat windshield. Definitely some sort of bug. So Treadwright sent me a gift. They didn't tell me what they were sending me. I was pretty excited, and then this is what I opened up. We hope you love the tires as much as this potato. God damn it. They sent me a potato. <laughs> Wishing you a smooth ride. This is both fantastic and terrible at the same time. I can't believe they actually sent me a potato. <laughs> and look, they went to the effort of printing both our lit. Like, you know, I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time, this is legendary. This is staying in the battle van forever. Oh, no! There we go. Oh, that's great. Huge thanks again to Treadwright for sending out these tires. If you guys are looking for some inexpensive, but awesome off-road tires, I've got mud trains, all trains, then I highly recommend Treadwright. I'll have a link in the description down below. Just look at the meat. Oh. I'm so tempted just to fall asleep here. One thing I decided that I wanna let you guys know is that I'm gonna start doing more voting, more polls for you guys. Cause I was, I was trying to find a way to kinda of involve you guys more with the build because yeah, you can leave comments um, and do that kind of stuff. That doesn't always work. So I decided I'm gonna do more voting. I'm gonna try to make it so there's something for you guys to vote on in every single video. And I will do whichever one wins out of the you know the two options for whatever I'm voting for. I will make sure to actually do it. So for this video, if you guys want clean off road, I will do it. If you guys want Pocalypse off road, I will do it. I think it'll be more fun for you guys because you can directly impact the builds. And it'll be more fun for me because I'll know what you guys want. But like I said, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy chopping some fenders. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a dislike. I will see you guys in the next video where hopefully we drive it, the, the battle van, for the first time. I'm excited for that. I bought that thing a month ago and I still haven't driven it and it's sad. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye and peace out. Ah!